Cho back on everybody, y'all man gaming here, we're back with a new video. Y'all been pressing me for the big guard stuff. The big guard dribble moves, big bar, big guard build, big guard friggin' dribble tutorial. Y'all want to talk? Sky. Don't want me to play the game online. I've only played the game four hours online, bro. But hit that like button and we're gonna keep pressing. You already know the drill go. 500 likes in the first hour. Oh, want a singular, dedicated dribble tutorial specifically only for big guard builds and what is effective for big guard builds, you know, as a bonus in there as well. Ended up testing out many different seeds. And I'm gonna leave a long, lengthy, unusual video today. I'm gonna use a, do an unusual method where I'm gonna be breaking down what works and what doesn't. Why you should use certain gym moves and not. Alternate things that you can use if you don't like what I'm showing you, cause I'm gonna show you two sets of seeds that I would recommend you using, all right? And I'm gonna explain to you each and every SIG that you need that is important for the big guards that even if you don't want to use the ones I showed you, you're probably going to want to use one of the other ones I'm showing you as of right now, because we don't have all these other options. Now, I will say this, unfortunately, bigger builds, you're just going to have to get it out of your system right now. You're not going to move as fast as a small guard. It's not going to happen. Maybe if you steezo dribble, you'll get some luck with it. But if you meta dribble, it nah go guan. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna come close to it. My 6-6 six, six build that I dropped earlier does get Hall of Fame quick first step when I put the perk on it, and it's going to be moving immaculate. But there's nothing like the small guard six, which is why my first build is a 6-4, because it still feels like a 6-5. It, it, it's amazing with small guard six. My 6-4 is freaking amazing. Now, unfortunately, you guys, a lot of you guys made a big build and you were assuming that they were going to be the meta again. But unfortunately, that's, that's not the case. The small guards are the meta. Six, anywhere from 6'2 to 6'4 is the meta right now, right? Five nines is still in the picture, but only a few select really doing. I'm talking about the mass majority of comp is going 6'2. And then there's people like me that venture off and go 6'4 and it's working, right? Um. Anyways, I do think that you're going to have to just accept it gonna be a little bit difficult different because i need to see what unreleased sigs are there i need to go to miley for big guards because everything i did was small guard oriented and you know what it turns out it was worth it but for the most part i need to go and check out the big build sigs that are unreleased as well and see if there's any hope for them my next rebirth will be the six six that i showed you earlier but my 6-4 is still my number one build and i'm taking out to war any other week it's something different about playing on these Little guards is 6'4 specifically where it just feels way more fun than the 6'6. Six, six. And I'm all about the fun and the skill. All right, so I know a lot of y'all are like me where you have a lot of responsibilities outside of playing the video game and even outside of content creation, which is my job, right? So I went ahead and I just took a screenshot of both of the SIGs while I was recording, just so I would save you the time. All I ask is just hit that like button, guys. But yeah, so the one on the left is the one that I figured out by the end of the video that, yo, while I was recording, it seemed to me like I enjoyed using the left, which is number one choice, more than the right, which originally I thought the right would have been my number one choice until I got to recording and trying to break stuff for you, which you'll see in this video that I found some gems as well. And I put you guys on some gems for those that are able to watch the full video. You will learn some secrets as well that you might not have known already and that is not out there. Anyways, hit that like button and enjoy the full video. Right now, like if I had to take the 6-6 six, six build out and take it to war, this is the 6 I'm using. And I'm going to explain to you some alternate SIGs that I found successful and some that I had written down the first day when I was lobbing up, right? I have a list of SIGs. The, the, the reason why I'm saying Devin Booker over... So the reason why I'm saying Devin Booker over LaMelo, over Jalen Green, over DeJounte Murray, over uh, Zach Levine, and even um, Tyrese Halliburton, and even Normal, and Jason Tatum, just take them out, she has a, a, a tricky little dribble style, right? It's because it's the only one that I found that you can immediately speed boost out of. And let me show you for the dribble style, right? Immediately speed boost like that. With Hall of Fame Lightning um, launch, it will look smoother than that. And to me, that's essential because you're not always going to 
get the other speed boost right. The, the delayed one. This one. You're not always going to get that right. And every dribble style will have it. So you're going to have to have something to rely on, which is a regular speed boost with Lightning Hall of Fame launch. It's going to be clutch. And if you also just saw, I was L2 canceling with it. That's another thing. It works good with the L2 cancel, right? Let me show you how the other dribble style look. This is this video is going to be in sections from one time only. Say you want to use Lamelo Ball. It gives you an in and out, right? And the same thing. Now, don't get me wrong. His dribble style is still good because it gives you a momentum. But you're really going to have to run diagonally down every time you sprint. Because I'm telling you, it can look good. But when you go against a hockey lockdown, as you move up in the ranks, you're going to get boxed. All right. Jalen Green from last year. This is Jalen Green. Good misdirection, right? But his size up boost is terrible, right? We don't use this. We need something effective. Halliburton is another one. Some uniqueness to it. Because it, it does give you one of the instant speed boosts. And you can L2 cancel off of it. But it gives you a granny run. And his misdirection is try. Now, LeBron James, Jibber Style, don't, don't even think about it. James Harden, same thing. Levine, that's the most important part for a big guard. Everything else I'll, I'll explain to you. Size up and dribble style is going to be the most important part. Levine is a good option if you cannot get Devin Booker. We go to DeJounte Mar too. Now, don't get me wrong. The same size speed boost is going to be a hop glitch, um, which, to be honest, I'm not a fan of how they slowed it down. But there's a way to finesse it. And if you just, it's pretty much just moving your, your left stick first and then sprinting like this. Tatum. Tatum actually surprised me because it gives you a good speed boost. It just, I couldn't L2 cancel out of it. So it was kind of like, okay, like, so, like, why wouldn't you be able to get an L2 out of it? It's just certain dribble styles don't let you do L2. But this is another option. To me, I would put this number two. If um, if you're somebody that just likes the speed boost, this is going to be your number two option, to be honest. If you want to dribble to look, listen, if you want to dribble tutorial, hit that like button. So it's possibly three, possibly four. Number one, I'm tied between Cade Cunningham and Ben Simmons. I was thinking Ben Simmons. Yeah, I'm like, what the heck? These two, to me, are the best. A lot of the intro clip you saw was actually with Ben Simmons size up. A lot of you guys go, are going to prefer Cade Cunningham, but let me show you that the dribble, the dribble style mixed with the size up can change the whole way your speed boost look just by me changing it to Ben Simmons right now, right? You see this? You see this? Ben Simmons changed my whole dribble style look, right? Not saying drastically, not drastically, but boom and i like ben simmons dribble style because there's more chances of you getting the power boost like that compared to um k cunningham because k cunningham's is too fast so I, I like to use um ben simmons size up for spamming too things are effective now regular breakdown i wrote down a couple i would only use pro Jimmy Butler, Paul George, the aggressive breakdown, Jason Tatum is the only one I would use. And here's why. It gives you the John ja Morant combo move. Boom. It's not as fast, but you're just R2 flicking up and it gives you this move. Perfect for other combos. You can use Jimmy Butler. I prefer Paul George, but after, I don't know. This is why I prefer Paul George. Before we continue, Nation, but you can shoot off the one Paul George gives you. And yes, Paul George doesn't give you as much separation. You can literally use, it's going to be preference for you, which one you want to use, my butler. Combo moves, Zach Levine, this is going to be preference. We don't really have much great options. They took the, the ability for you to get Ja Morant. Um, Paul George crossover is what I was using. And I was also looking at Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves gives you a nice little um, boom, like a, a watcher down D Fox. And Jason Tatum does the same thing as well. Behind the back. Believe it or not, I'm rocking with Norma behind the back. I know what you're going to say, Yardman. Kawhi gives you the Harden behind the back from last year. 
I know this. I know all this. Don't use it on my 6-6 when I was messing in the lab with it, right? Like, it's good for the combos. Don't get me wrong. It's going to make the combos look good. But watch when you try to shoot off of it. Hold on. When you try to shoot off of it, it's going to make you fade sometimes. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we can still get right with this. Yeah, we can get right with it for sure. Right, we're going to keep Kawhi. Thanks, Caesar's glitch spin. That's what I'm using. Now, step back. I recommend you using Luca, Halliburton for five, six. Let me show you how Halliburton looks. That's what I'm saying. Halliburton is good for speed boosting, but me personally, on the bigger guards, I think that you need that space that you create with. Um... Hold on. You need the space that you create with Luca, for sure, in my opinion. So I would use this on the small guards. In fact, I've been using it online in the Proven Grounds, the, the four hours that I did get to play online because I've been making so much videos, but I love it. Keep hitting the like button. Um, but to be honest, it's going to be preference for you. Luca to me, is a little bit better option just because off that step back, you're going to get some easy free three. Scotty Pippen, uh, this is going to be an option for you. Lucas is a fast, snappy one. Tatum is actually a good one as well. Paul George, Halliburton. I was just saucing up with that Halliburton. Let's try this same six out with Cade Cunningham and see if this might be the lineup. All right. This might be the lineup because... Oh, 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 yeah, this alone, this, this, uh, John Mar fake John Moran combo move into the step back will get you space on a big build. Now that I think about it, I have to try it out. Let's try this out with Jimmy Butler real quick. When it comes to having a move like this, that's going to uh, escape. That's not going to keep you in one spot. But Jimmy Butler is going to create way more space for you when you're dribbling. Yeah. It, yeah. We have to see. Yeah, we might have to put Luca on or something, man. Like, I just. I don't know, like. It's a tough decision. I need to lob up some more to finalize like what is going to be my one. But you're seeing all the six that I would recommend you using right here already. And we figured it out together, right? So finalize six probably would be these ones. Six in the beginning of the video, the one I'm, I was lobbing up with. And I would still take them online. So it's two six, two slots. This is probably the one that most of you guys want to use because it's just more overall fun to use these ones because it's more like dopamine effect, like dribble moves. So, yeah. Only thing about the Jimmy Butler, like I said, is you really can't shoot off that crab. But. You can probably just wait a little bit, won't hurt, right? You just can't shoot instantly like on the... But if you don't want to shoot off the crab, you can shoot off the behind the back, all right? So, yeah. Anyways, big up on the self, hit that like button. These are the six that I would say you use. And I'm going to have alternate versions of the six on both sides of the screen, the whole video. Now that I've completed the video, instead of wasting time, I'm going to just show you two slots of six to use on both sides. All right. Number one and number two. This being number one. All right. So with that being said, big up on the self. I'm big up Lord Almighty. We don't care. No, no, no. Jeevan, I don't want to think already. Y'all on gaming. Hit that like button if you want to dribble tour for the big guards. Essentially the same things as the other dribble tutorial. But if you want one, 
I'll drop it. All right. Just for the big guards with the big guards moves. But I need to see some love on the video. Big up on the self. We're gone.